In today's video, I am going to cheat in Call of Duty Mobile. Not in a ranked server, not in a public lobby. I'm not going into multiplayer, only against bots in single player. My hope is this video is actually going to help all of us out. So before you sit there and you dislike the video like an idiot, or you're even stupid enough to go down below in the comments and comment something like, but Exotic Gaming, you're ruining the game. I can't believe you would do something like this. I hate you and I'm unsubscribing. I am literally helping you out. The whole point of this video is for you guys and Activision to see this. Activision can see all the different things that hackers can do and then they can more easily ban them, get rid of them, right? And then you guys can see what hackers are capable of and more easily report them, all right? My hope is with this video, everybody can see what hackers are capable of so we can all get rid of them together as a team, as one collective Call of Duty Mobile community. If you guys hate hackers, make sure to leave a like. One like equals one more hacker banned from Call of Duty Mobile and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos like this. Thank you so much, guys. Please share this with everybody you possibly can. I don't care if it's Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp. We want everybody to know what people are capable of when they hack this game, and we want all of them banned. Anyways, with that being said, let's go jump into a bot lobby and see what they're capable of. All right, guys. So here we are now. I am on a burner account in Call of Duty Mobile. As you can see, I'm literally only level 13, okay? And I fully expect that this account is probably going to get banned because, you know, I would at least hope that the anti-cheat would work well enough that it's going to, you know, detect that I have this little thingy right here. This is called a mod menu, and a mod menu can turn a lot of different stuff on, like aimbot, like seeing through walls and stuff like that. And if I very briefly open this up, you guys can see that we have a lot of different things that we can work with right here. Everything from fast scope to aimbots to even no recoil or no spread. And the most interesting thing is a wall hack. So we're going to turn some of these things on. We're going to jump into a match where we're only going up against bots. So we're not going to ruin anybody's day, right? And it should be interesting. So let's go do that real quick. Multiplayer. As you can see, I'm choosing practice versus AI. And I'm choosing Nuketown Russia. Let's go click start, showing you guys the entire process without any cuts in this video. So you can actually see that I'm not going to try to like mess things up. Everybody is literally called bot. Bot 1 through bot 9, okay? Or bot 10 or bot 9. I have really no freaking idea. But uh, yeah, here we are. We're in Nuketown. I have a very default selection of weapons here. I got all my bot friends and uh, <laughs> look at this guy. Dude, you are so not ready for what you're about to witness right here. <laughs> yeah, um, so let's go test it out first without anything on. Without any hacks, we can see what it's like normally. That's a pretty obvious thing to do first. Um, so we got some people over there. Hip fire. We can see, you know, it's just regular Call of Duty mobile. Nothing too special. Um, obviously, considering they're bots, it's going to be pretty easy to still kill them. But if I go behind this wall real quick... I think the first thing that I want to do is turn on wall hack to show you guys one of the main things that hackers can do when they actually are able to like detect where people are. Look at this. If I look now, that's a, that, that's a player. That's literally an enemy right now. Red is an enemy. And if I actually start to go toward that direction, we can see that that's a person. Look at that. That's actually real people. That is legitimate people. And I could see through the wall all the way across the map where they are. So... Say you're in a match in, like, Battle Royale, and you see somebody, like, sniping you, and there's, like, no possible way they knew where you were. Maybe they had a wall hack on. They might have been able to see you before you ever even knew they were there. So keep that in mind, right? That might be one way you could start reporting people if you think they might be potentially hacking. Another thing is if you see somebody using, like, an SMG at a ridiculously long range, or maybe even a shotgun... And they're laser accurate. And you're like, how the heck is that even possible? Look at this. No recoil whatsoever. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to aim at a very small spot on my screen. Like right up there, this little point, the top of this building. And the recoil is literally not going to move. It's only just because me being stupid and pressing my screen. But look at this. It literally, it, it does not move. Zero recoil on my gun. So... Another thing, all right, if you think you might have encountered a hacker, 
they might have had no recoil turned on, so it made it very easy for them to use a gun that had, you know, normally a ton of recoil. Next up, all right, if we open this thingy up, we can turn on no spread, and this, this is where things get insane, and this is where if you ever, like, spectate somebody after they kill you, and you're wondering how the heck they managed to, you know, hip fire you across the map, well, look at this. This has absolutely no spread. I, I actually need some more ammo real quick. Hello, bots. Thank you. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just picking up some ammo real quick. Um, I need to turn off a setting, actually, so I can show you guys without hip fire. Let me go to my settings, and let's go turn on hip fire. Watch this. So, normally, with something like the M4, at this range, if you're trying to hip fire, you're going to miss a lot of your shots, right? But guess what? Look at this. Perfect. Perfect accuracy. I mean, is that not insane? Or, or actually, better yet, you know, we could e we could even like <laughs> limit auto auto fire range when hip firing. Like, I could literally do simple. And oh wow, actually, okay, simple does not work. But basically, you have infinite perfect accuracy when you are hip firing, and I think that's just the biggest dumbest cheat in the entire world. Like, look at this. I'm just an idiot, and I completely fail. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Here we go. We got a guy way over here, and here's my hip fire. I, I mean, did you see that? That was perfect accuracy. Just then, by sheer coincidence. Well, guess what? <laughs> my account already got banned. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, that's, that's actually a good sign. I want to congratulate Activision. That means your anti-cheat is pretty good. So that's good, right? Um, I literally only did one match in practice versus AI, and it already detected that. So that's promising. That means, you know, if you were to go into a public match, it probably would detect even faster. So don't cheat, or else your account is going to get banned. If this is not the most obvious example of that, I don't know what is, all right? But it's not the end of the video. I have another phone here, um, and I am going to download Call of Duty on my other phone. And uh, we're going to go download the mod menu and continue on with this video. Unfortunately, I have to record this in a different method. And that means I'm not going to be able to have a face cam for the second part of this video. But uh, hey, with that being said, let's do this. All right, guys. So I, uh, I downloaded this mod on a different account. And it's actually a little bit different. It looks completely different from the other one. And I'm not exactly sure why. If I open this up, as you can see, things have changed. And there's a new option called Crosshair. And I'm a little curious. I want to test this out. So let's go into a multiplayer match. Practice versus AI in Nuketown, Russia. And let's go test this out against a whole lot of bots here in Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> I feel so bad. And I, I haven't even gotten to the craziest things yet. Like a speed hack and other stuff like that. Bro, you are so not ready. I feel so bad. Bot number three. He's just crouched. He's scared. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> but all right, here we are. I don't have anything on right now. Things are pretty normal. Um, oh, no, I lied. I do have a couple of things on. Let's turn on crosshair. And look at this. Look at this. I can change my crosshair size and my crosshair color. <laughs> if I want it to be green, I can. And if I want it to be big, I can. And I have a big green crosshair right now. And this looks so much hackerish, it's absolutely insane. Look, we got the freaking wall hack, other stuff like this, zero recoil, and the crosshair makes it actually a lot easier, I would say, to, you know, line up your shots. I actually don't feel like the crosshair thing's a big deal. And I actually would go as far to say that I wish something like this sort of existed in this game because, you know, it's just a crosshair. It's, it's not like it's a big deal. If you're trying to base this off of real life, obviously, you know, you can change the crosshair and the reticle of your scope in real life if you're using a gun. So it's not like it's a big deal. But um, obviously, all this other stuff just makes it look like the most hackerish thing ever. My bot friends are blue. The enemies are red. It's just ridiculous chaos. I have no freaking idea. Let's just, you know, turn on speed hack casually. And uh, <laughs> let's go drink five five-hour energies. Okay? So I'm going to have 25 hours of energy, all right? Because my days don't stop at 24. I have 25 hours. And look at me go! Look at how fast I am! <laughs> I knifed that guy and I ran away before his friends even knew where I was. Look at this. 
Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Like, bro, if you see somebody and they're running this fast, they are hacking. It is the most blatantly obvious thing in the entire world. This is probably why you don't normally see the hackers using the speed hacks. At least, you know, they would probably be at least somewhat intelligent to know not to do that, all right? But obviously, if you see somebody running across Nuketown, Russia in about three seconds, <laughs> yeah, it's probably a hacker, all right? <laughs> and I think the funniest thing is when you jump, <laughs> it goes back to normal normal speed. Look at this. And then I just fly at 6,000 miles an hour across the map. I really wish you could actually adjust this and like make myself run even faster. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. But let's go turn on aimbot now. Aimbot is probably the most ridiculous thing of them all. All right? So if I zoom in and start shooting at this wheel or something like that, as you could see there, it automatically just moved it to the left where the guy was, right? Aimbot essentially works where you zoom in the same general area, like this sign, and then the second the guy pops out, it just starts shooting directly at them. It just, it literally, it, it just tracks where an enemy is. And it's the weirdest thing ever. And it's, it's kind of hard to actually show you guys. Like, look at this. Maybe a sniper is the best way of explaining it. As you can see, look at how weird the crosshair is going. It's just like moving left and right. And I just, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Like, yeah, obviously, this is a very easy way to tell if somebody is hacking in this game. If you're watching them, and, uh, you know, their little replay back button thingy is like their scope just ch -ch 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 exactly where an enemy is. Dude, they may be hacking. You might want to report them for doing something like that, okay? Because aimbot is probably the most common thing hackers do in Call of Duty and every other video game. So if you can nail down exactly what it's like when a person uses aimbot like this then this is the perfect, this is, this is good. You can report so many people and get a lot of people banned, all right? And then you can have a much better experience when you're playing this game. Let's go open it up again, though. Fast scope. I don't know if I tested this out earlier, but look at this. Look at how fast it scopes in. Actually, I think the best way to test this out would be to turn on one, one tap ADS and watch this. With, with, oh my God, with aimbot, one tap ADS and fast scope, <laughs> You're unstoppable. Look at that. Look at this. This is absolutely insane, bro. <laughs> now, I don't think hackers would be stupid enough to have every single setting turn on. But if they do, well, ding, ding, ding. You got yourself a hacker. You can report them and get them banned from Call of Duty. Get them out of there. Um, I'm kind of curious what it's like scoping with a sniper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? Look at this. Look at this. It literally scopes in instantaneously. <laughs> Quick scoping is very easy with this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's the easiest thing in the entire world because it's perfectly accurate every single time. Oh, maybe not that time. Oh, that was a bit awkward. But yeah, I mean, seriously, dude. Like, this is the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. And uh, I think this is this the final thing. Show HP plus name? I'm not exactly sure, actually. Oh, oh wait a minute. It, it, is the HP not normal? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. It does show my, my friend's HP. Huh. Oh, yes. And then it does say the three right there. Interesting. Okay, well, that's not the biggest thing in the entire world. But as you can see, I mean, seriously, this is the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. And uh, I felt really lame getting a lot of kills like that that just was really just i felt cheap and uh it, it's it's not even fun you know i mean it's kind of cool at the beginning of it but it's like okay great you won it's not like you really accomplished anything so i mean what i don't understand is why hackers you know they watch this video and they're just like yeah dude i do this every single day why do you feel accomplished like do you legitimately feel good about yourself I don't get it. Like, it just, it, you just didn't, you didn't do well. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this account gets banned pretty soon, but um, some mod menus even have, like, jump hacks and other stuff like that. I think the one that I tested out about a year ago had a jump hack as well, and it even had something where it, it put my gun on the left hand, right? So, it, like, it was a mirror image of my gun, and it also had it, like, multicolor, like a rainbow. <laughs> so, like... There's a lot of things that you can do, but most likely what hackers are going to be doing is, is trying to get better gameplay. So they're going to have that aimbot 
that fast scope, stuff like that, things that you might not immediately be able to tell. And, uh, you know, yeah. You know, infinite health and some other stuff are pretty obvious if you're a hacker. Uh, but, you know, those are, the, those are the obvious things. If you see a guy who has infinite health, duh, obviously he's hacking. But I wanted to show you guys overall, like, what some of the less common things would be or, or the things that are a bit harder to pinpoint. Ah, and look at this. Beautiful. We just got banned, I think. That's a very, that is a good, hold on, hold on. Is it going to ban me? Your account has been banned. Look at this, look at this, look at this. If I click guest now, it's going to say my account has been banned. So that's a very good anti-cheat. And if, I, again, as I said, if this is not the most obvious thing that shows you why you should not be cheating in Call of Duty Mobile, uh, yes, there you go. Connection terminated, your account has been banned. So... I got banned on both of my accounts. <laughs> my two burner accounts got banned, and that's exactly what I was expecting in this video. I just didn't expect it to happen so fast. I was only able to do like two or three matches before the game was just like, nope, sorry, too bad. And that was against AI players. So that means the anti-cheat is good, but is it good enough that it completely wipes out every hacker? Obviously not. There are still people that do this type of stuff that I showed you guys in this video. And as I said in the introduction, the whole point to this video was to make it very obvious showing you exactly some of the most common things that hackers do when they play this game so you can more easily detect them and then report them so Activision can ban them. I hope this video was useful and you learned a lot. If you did, then I would greatly appreciate it if you could take just a second and hit that like button down below. As I said, one like equals one more hacker banned. And subscribe to my channel if you also hate hackers just like me. Thank you so much, guys. We're out of time, so I will see you all in the next episode.